everything you need to know about the future of the internet. There are not many people who can get through their day these days without accessing the internet. Since the World Wide Web was born in 1994, it has grown and changed in ways that the original architects could not have imagined only a few short decades ago. And as far as the internet has come already, it still has farther to go. We've talked about how blockchains, cryptocurrencies, and DAOs have changed the way we do business. But these technologies are also changing the structure of the web as we know it. Right now, we are standing on the cusp of the third generation of the World Wide Web. Web 3.0 is still evolving, so we don't have an official, standardized definition of it yet. But we do have a good idea of how it will function and what will make it stand out from past generations. But before we get into that, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications to help support our channel. Now, let's jump right in. What were Web 1.0 and Web 2.0? When the internet first went public in the 90s, it was simply a series of static HTML pages. The original poster could edit content, but readers could not interact with web pages. This was the read-only web. The early 2000s saw the birth of the read-write web, where users can collaborate and add their own content to public pages. This is Web 2.0, which is the version of the internet most of us still use today. Thanks to Web 2.0's interactive features, we can post this video to a widely used video sharing platform, and then you can like or comment on it. What is Web 3.0? The main difference between Web 3.0 and its predecessors will be how they store data. Whereas Web 1.0 and Web 2.0 store data on centralized databases, Web 3.0 will be built on blockchains. To review, blockchains store data in digital blocks, which once created cannot be altered. Each block is linked to the block directly before it, creating a chronological record of transactions. Blockchains are stored across several locations or nodes instead of a central mainframe or computer. Web 3.0 will function like DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, without a centralized governing authority. Instead, community members will make decisions from the ground up. Web 3.0 will also integrate more machine learning and artificial intelligence applications. For example, semantic technology will play a huge role in Web 3.0. The semantic web what is semantic technology? The basic idea is that the semantic web will teach computers to process information more like humans. Have you ever tried to look up a very specific idea on a search engine, only to be frustrated that you can't seem to find the correct wording to generate the exact result you're looking for? While people can interpret words based on context, computers are much more literal. The semantic web bridges that gap by creating knowledge graphs Linked Open Data, or LODs, help form connections between a term and all of the descriptions or concepts related to it. This helps create semantic tags for web pages that are less ambiguous, so when you put a search term into an engine, you get exactly what you're looking for and not almost what you're looking for. What are the benefits of Web 3.0? You now have a basic idea of how Web 3.0 will work but you still might be wondering why we should bother making the transition when Web 2.0 is working just fine. Here's a few advantages Web 3.0 has over Web 2.0. Semantic technology will make it easier to search the web and find exactly what you're looking for. Other forms of artificial intelligence will also make your browsing experience more efficient. Right now, social bookmarking results can be manipulated by human input. Improved AI will better filter through results to provide you with the data most relevant to you. Automated processes will cancel out human error. Artificial intelligence will also integrate personal virtual assistance into the web itself. Because Web 3.0 will be built on blockchains, it will share many of their advantages. Blockchains are unhackable. Because blockchains are decentralized, there's no one mainframe or central computer that can be compromised. Each block tracks an irreversible transaction. Once a block has been closed, it cannot be edited, even by the person who created it. Even if a hacker did somehow manage to alter one block, they would then have to alter every subsequent block and repeat the process across 51% of the other nodes for the entire blockchain to verify the change. Without a centralized database, a centralized authority cannot censor what users post. Web 3.0 will be the first platform for truly free speech. For a party to completely remove a post from the internet, they would have to delete every copy of the blockchain on every node it's stored on. As a user, 
you will have complete control of your own data. Because they use the same technology, Web 3.0 will be a better platform for using cryptocurrencies than Web 2.0. Cryptocurrencies allow you to bypass banks and governments, giving you more control over your money and protecting you from theft. Are there any downsides to Web 3.0? While there are many reasons to be excited about Web 3.0, it does come with its drawbacks. Because blockchains are spread across multiple nodes, they take a large amount of computing power to run. It's much easier for servers to get overwhelmed, creating congestion for all users. These large computing systems also have much larger carbon footprints than the centralized servers Web 2.0 currently utilizes. In order for Web 3.0 to be sustainable, we will need to find an environmentally friendly way to maintain the amount of blockchains needed to support the whole World Wide Web. While the lack of central authority is a major selling point for Web 3.0, it also introduces a new set of complications to the internet. A completely unregulated internet will make it much easier for bad actors to commit crimes without being caught. Web 3.0 will also require us to redefine the concepts of ownership and privacy and to update or rewrite our existing laws. Finally, new users might find Web 3.0 more complicated than Web 2.0. So, how much longer until Web 3.0 becomes widely used? The transition is already farther along than you might think, but we're still likely looking at almost another decade before the World Wide Web runs mainly on blockchains and dApps. The internet has always been a place of fast-paced, radical changes, but the most massive changes to how we interact on the World Wide Web are yet to come. The future of the web will put control back into the hands of the users instead of multinational tech monopolies. Web 3.0 will be a more secure, more efficient way of connecting people all around the globe. Are you ready for the new face of the web? Or do you have reservations about a decentralized internet? How do you think Web 3.0 will change our browsing habits? Let us know in the comments.